Hey, what's up you guys? Tom is back with another Linsen's video. Today we have a fragrance from Jeff Latham by KKW Fragrances. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me right now at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, trying to figure out what fragrance should be next to go into that purchased bag of items. Hopefully you bought just more than just fragrance. Uh, maybe you bought some tiles and stuff like that. Who knows? Maybe you were just looking to see if Mr. Linsens did a review on that. Probably not. Probably not because they don't sell the Middle Easterns, but occasionally we do a designer fragrance and today is that day but if you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like likes are very important before we get into that fragrance let me just show you what the fragrance of the day was today so today was a musical miraculous day at church okay it's our annual church festivities uh, the Christmas theme. So I went with this bad boy right here. This tobacco touch from Mason Lumber. If you guys know, this is like a tobacco vanille clone. And you guys, it smells great. It smells spicy. It smells kind of woody and earthy from that tobacco. You get that vanilla. Honestly, I like this stuff. This was the first night of me actually wearing it. Full-blown wear. And, man, this stuff was just gorgeous today, okay? Just gorgeous yeah, anyways let's finally get into this fragrance now you know whenever you're at the marshall's the tj maxx's the ross the burlington's occasionally you fall upon a fragrance that you're like man what is that you look it up you see it's actually a pretty expensive fragrance everywhere else and you're like man it's cheap here let's buy it why not and that's exactly what i did so this is Jeff Latham by KKW Fragrances. Now, I think this is like the Khloe Kardashians and stuff like that, KKW, but I guess uh, maybe some guy just decided to put his name in there and he decided to make a rare fig fragrance. Now, this was in the women's section. So, uh, again, you guys, if you guys are over in that store, especially the TJ Maxx's and the Marshalls, uh, they really have tough times figuring out what fragrance are for men and women. So a lot of times they're just mixed up in the bunch. And uh, so sometimes you just got to go over the women's section and go find something. But this one, Juicy Blood Orange, some Solar Mandarin, and some Refreshing Lemon Burst in the opening. The heart takes you to the aromatic greenhouses with earthy geranium and sick lemon. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Let me know. Sensual vetiver, warm cedar wood, and dried fig create the magical, whimsical sillage, if you will. So, you know, I like a nice fig, earthy, green fragrance. Uh, a lot of times those green and earthy fragrances are honestly my favorite. Now, I don't know if they're my favorite on me, but when I smell them in the air, especially something like uh, Lilabo's Santel 33, first time I smelled that stuff in the air, I was like, man, what is that? I like that. Someone told me what it was, and I said, oh, I'm going to go get it. So I did get it. We got the Paris Corner Edition, the Rich 33. So let's see what this is all about again. There it is, that fig. Let's see if it opens up like this. Yes, it does. So, boom. Take a look at the bottle. It's probably supposed to be sitting there just like this. Kind of looks like one of those oil diffusers, one of those weird ones. But take a look. I do actually like this presentation. That is pretty nice. They should have something in there that kind of holds us down a little bit better because when you shake it around it does move but other than that that is a pretty cool uh presentation nice cool little box cool little bottle again kind of looks like a uh either a atomizer i mean not an atomizer but an oil diffuser or one of those uh nose sucky things that they put in the little kids noses look at that even the opening i thought there's gonna be something in there but you guys gotta open it up so it's not a clicky but it kind of Goes on there nice and snug, okay? So you can pick it up like this. This is a 1.7 and $24, okay? Now, I've seen these things for like $55, $60 uh, when I was at the store. So, you know, it is a 
just a one ounce so it'd be nice to take and carry along with you i'm going to those eos eggs too but let's go over here and spray it that's the thing though the small one is kind of it's kind of a weird to hold it okay like if you got big hands it's just kind of real weird but anyways let's go here and see what it's all about see if we can get some of that orange some of that fig weird sprayer too definitely getting that wig that wig definitely getting that fig right up at the top like when you smell it in the air definitely nice and figgy and green and earthy it smells just woody earthy outdoorsy let's get closer and see what we can uh detect with the nostrils if you will so here we go nice little sheen after that little dry down so here we go i think this is a uh see if this is a oda oda parfum so there you go it's a uh, nice plus Ooh, so I'm definitely getting a lot of citrus. It's like citrusy. It's not like that bright citrus. I think what happens is that vetiver, that earthiness that it says it has, that vetiver and stuff like that, that warm cedar wood. I think those come into play really nicely in that fig just right away. So, it's, you know, sometimes you get those fragrances that got the citrus up at the top. Sometimes you spray it and it's like you smell it. And it's just a little bit too much citrus, okay? Even though it fades away pretty fast, this one is a nice amount of everything. You get that citrus, and then you get that earthy, figgy, kind of slightly sweet. It's a, just, just a tad bit sweet, okay? But you get this nice, earthy, woody figginess, which is very nice. Nice and earthy, nice and green. Again, the citrus is kind of... it's. Kind of popping a little bit more now that I've kind of bashed all the fragrances and got all that citrus. But again, it's not too harsh in my opinion. It's not just like beat you in the face. Here's lemon, here's bergamot, here's all these citruses. Here it is. And he's like, man, I just smell like a big old pot of squeezed lemons. Like I don't want to smell like that. But the earthiness, that nice little bit of woodiness and that green, the green notes in here. I think they mesh pretty dang well i'm actually i'm actually digging this one you guys if you guys see this one okay let's get this thing right okay cool presentation kkw jeff letham oh that is nice you guys i like that it's nice it's bright it's fresh got that nice little bit of green earthiness you get a little bit of that figginess it's not too much fig just yet now, again, it said the fig is more on that sea ash, so that little scent trail that you're going to leave is most likely where people are going to catch that fig, that earthy, that greenness, okay? Now, this fragrance was in the women's section, but honestly, I believe it is more uh, aimed towards the men, okay? Men, if you see this in the women's section, do not be afraid to get it. It is definitely for men. If you like that earthy, green, fresh, kind of slightly sweet, and just a little bit of that fig. Now, again, you smell the fig. But it's not like, fig kind of has that dense smell, if you think, that dense kind of sweet, dense. It's kind of got that little bit of sweet, not too much. But again, the citrus and that green earthiness go really well together. Again, this is not just a blast of citrus right at the top. I think the, the, the flavors of the citrus and that green, I think they go really well together right up at the top right away. So again, if you're not into those Maybe you are into those bright citrusy fragrances, but again, you got to kind of wait sometimes for them to tone down that citrus tones down into those next bit of notes. This one kind of starts off right away where you'd probably want it, okay? Right away, it almost kind of smells like how the fragrance might just smell um, throughout the entirety of the fragrance because it kind of, you kind of get almost everything right away. So if that makes any sense. With that being said, this is going to be a spring and summertime fragrance. Great for work, great for running errands. I'm not going to call it a date night fragrance unless maybe you're just going to a bowling or maybe going to a movie, but not a date night fragrance, sexy date night or anything like that. Just a casual date night. Again, going to work, going to the office, going to school, going on an airplane, go out there, smell good, smell fresh, smell green. Boom. Jeff Lethem by KKW Fragrances. Again, I think this is, I could be wrong. But I thought I seen something on there with Kim and Khloe Kardashian or something like that. So 
could be like maybe their little lineup i don't know but that being said i'm gonna get up out of here hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and if you guys did hit the likes comment subscribe and we'll see you next time peace yeah